Yeah, I don't care if it's your brother, bitch. Yeah, it's still cheating. Fuck. What, you gonna fuck him too? Uh, hello? Hello? Well, howdy doody, fellas. It is your host, Super Poopy. And today, we're gonna be reviewing the MP44 ammo pouches. Yes, that's right. They arrived just three days ago. And now, we're gonna talk about them. We're gonna recommend them. Because they come from a website that not many people know about. And yet, they have a lot of great items. So, you know, uh, I'm gonna mention them in a bit. And, uh, but first, we're gonna talk about the MP44 pouches. Let's take a look. Anyway, yes, here they are, the MP44 pouches in light green. Very nice canvas, very strong. These are probably very durable. This is real leather. You can see the buttons here, and they got a double hooker. Uh, whoa, ah, that's a funny way to say it, but yeah, it uh, just sips in through here, and it's got a button there. As you can see, it's creasing a little bit, aching a little bit, uh, but uh, let's take a look uh, at the back. As you can see, it's got a... For three ammo pouches, it's a bundle, it comes with two, uh, as I said, let's take a look in the back. Over here, it's got a small little pocket here, so does this one, I believe that is for tools, either for the MP44, or, I don't know, maybe I guess soldiers would put loose rounds in there. And, not sure what this extra strip is here for. So if someone in the comment section could tell me what this is for, uh, please let me know. Uh, as you can see, it's got the slings here or the belt. Not sure what this is also for. Maybe it must attach to maybe some part in the Y straps, which I do not have yet. Um, as you can see, it's got the stamp. No swastika though, so it is censored. You could just carve it. It's marked 1944. Really good reproduction. Very nice. Um, but yeah, very lovely. Very lovely. Anyways, let's take a look inside of uh, one of them. Uh, I actually put napkins inside one of them. As you can see, it's very stiff, very secure. Look at this. Freaking strong, powerful leather. Ain't nothing getting through that. And I put napkins there just to fill it up for a photo shoot because I, I, I don't have the other mags, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see, there's a button. Uh, very nice, very nice. It's got a buckle for the side pocket so your tools won't fall out. Now, I do uh, have one problem with this so far, and that is it's so tight. You gotta loosen it up, just like woman. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's open one up, cause right here, uh, these I believe they don't have uh, napkins yet. Uh, cause uh, right now I don't have magazines, so in order to make it look like a full ammo pouch, uh, I'm using napkins. So uh, let's take a look and put this uh, magazine for the MP44 uh, inside one of these and give it a go. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I'm holding the camera with my crotch, so this is quite difficult. All right. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, man, it's tough. But yeah, I got told by many friends that MP44 pouches, you gotta age them quite a bit before you could use them nice and comfortably. But look at that, it's so tough just to get it in there. It's annoying. Yeah, you gotta stretch it out. So what I'm gonna do to age it and uh, make the ammo clips, I mean magazines, not clips, um, fit better is I'm gonna basically stuff it with rocks and run around with them on a regular day See look it doesn't even want to close It's how tight it is. So yeah, it's not it's not that it's uh, wrongly made You just got to use them up and age them a bit. That's all um, Other than that, it's uh, very good and reliable. So meanwhile, I'm probably just gonna have them open if I do use them so uh Try to jam that in there. Damn, it's tough. Yeah, this is going to be a pickle. But, I only have one mag. And one mag of these for Airsoft carries around 300 rounds. So, <laughs> I won't have to, like, reload at all. I'll just be Rambo out there. You know, in those movies where they keep on shooting but never reload. There's so many of those movies. Let's see if we could jam it in there some more. God damn. This is tough. This is freaking tough. But yeah, I already tried it on. I'll probably post a few pictures. I tried it on with my censored Panzer uniform. I gave it a nice uh, Panzer Grenadier look. And uh, just looks great. Very beautiful. But yeah, this is the only problem. It's so tight on the mags. It doesn't even want to close. How am I supposed to live with this? It's going to be tough. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, hopefully they do stretch out real good. And... Uh, they could become uh, 
more of an actual use to me. As you can see, this one's got the stamp too, and it's uh, very lovely. Anyways, uh, you're probably know, uh, wondering where I got them from. Uh, let's get that out. Because uh, honestly, I'm most likely not going to own a real MP44, because I already have an Airsoft one. And uh, you're probably wondering where I got these lovely, gorgeous ammo pouches. Look at that. Look at all the stitching. All the stitching is done well. You're like, oh, goddamn, I got to get me some of these. I got them from a place known as WW... Dot WorldWarsupply.com. I kind of just derped. And I've actually bought a lot from these guys. They sell their items through Amazon. But I recently just straight up looked at their website. And they have a lot of amazing stuff. You guys should take a look. Unfortunately, I can't show you. But with every order, they give you a fridge sticker. And I think that's freaking awesome. Because I have like three fridges in this house. I'm packed with food. I'm ready for the end of the world. And uh, so these are very good to decorate your fridge. Uh, very, uh, I, I, I'm very much satisfied with all my orders. You know, uh, I actually received this. Which is a Japanese uh, Imperial Officer Waist Belt for like uh the nambu pistol like little ammo pouch right now it has uh airsoft tvs from the last time i used it but yeah i got that from them and it they just have really good uh world war ii reproductions uh i also got uh the japanese imperial <laughs> officer uniform and i believe they do also sell original so i'm not sponsored by them or anything although i wish i was uh but yeah check them out they're really good they got a lot of cool stuff they sell their items on amazon if you don't want to buy from a specific website uh but yeah uh still check out their website they're extremely reliable they're awesome they got a lot of cool collectible stuff and even originals so yeah and will you get a fridge sticker so anyways uh i don't think i missed anything here i feel like i kind of rushed it but then again there's not much to talk about when it comes to just ammo pouches uh, they're very lovely, very good. I already took pictures with them. They look very authentic and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with them. So Like and subscribe if you like the video subscribe if you Like me a lot more and want to support me um, I am gonna start selling art. So if you want to support this channel You want to see me progress get more uh, items and World War II stuff? Uh, please do consider buying my amazing art now. I'm not trying to suck myself off but uh, you know, it's it's art, and uh, I, I would like to make a living off making art and entertainment for you guys. Uh, you know, so uh, consider buying my art. You know, we got we got Bubby, we got SS troops, we got Erwin Rummel. Not just that, we got Pretty Women. Uh, that one's not for sale because I actually know her. Uh, Frank Sinatra, British soldiers. Uh, what was her name? She was a. Uh, I already forgot what they're called. Kurdish soldier, female Kurdish soldier, um, and uh, logos and other stuff. Uh, what else? We got Japanese troops. Also, if you're into that, uh, we had an American soldier somewhere here. But yeah, anyways, yeah. So um, DM me on Instagram if you're interested in some art, and uh, I'll get to it. I'll make it for you. And uh, unfortunately, you'll have to pay me first because some jerk already uh, um, basically got me to make him a portrait, and then he was like. Never answered, just left me in the blank. I didn't get any money and I made him a free portrait. Like I didn't send it to him, but I just wasted a lot of time, you know? So it's a pay for a situation. I don't wanna go through that again. So uh, yeah, uh, take care, love y'all.